I shouldn't even have to say anything. You should be able to just look at that and see that upward trend over the past two years and know that this is gonna be a great product to sell. And we can almost assure that demand will continue rising at least for the foreseeable future. Welcome back to another episode of the top products to begin selling on Amazon for this upcoming month. Now today in this episode, we'll be doing things a little bit differently uh, for this month. And what we'll be doing is we're gonna be looking at the top three products that would be great to sell during the holiday season that's coming up in two months. Uh, there won't be an episode in December, so the next episode that you'll be able to catch will be um, near the first week of January, and that will be for the top products to begin selling for the year of 2024. So let's start off today with uh, product number one. This is the Treasure Box Toys for Classroom. So before we take a look at the data, I'm just going to give you a quick idea of what this product is. Uh, it reminds me of the Fidget Toys back from uh, two to three years ago. However, this is a little bit different. So this is a large quantity of these uh, unique party favor gifts that I guess teachers are putting in treasure chests for children to um, you know, take for a reward or a good grade. And what's common on here is a 100 piece and a 70 piece set. And most likely for a 100 piece set, they're going for in the mid 20 range as far as sales price. All right, we'll head back to the data set here and things look a little bit different on Jungle Scout if you've been following the channel for the past couple of months. Uh, they pushed out a new update and just a new user interface. However, everything's still the same as far as um, the accuracy with the data. So I'll start off with one thing that I really like about this product and that is the average monthly unit sold history over the past two years. And in particular, if you look on the right side here, in December of 2022, last year, we saw a significant increase in the number of units that were sold within this niche. So my expectation based off of the recent trends, as we can see this past month in October at a new October high, I'd imagine that we're going to see an even higher uh, amount of units sold coming into December and it'll get close to that 10,000 units sold mark would be my estimate. So this is great news for new sellers joining this niche that the demand should be increasing. Uh, but one thing just to be a little bit cautious about is the competition they do rate this as medium. If we look through the first listing page, we can see that there are a few listings with a couple thousand uh, reviews. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're gonna be a new private label seller in this niche, that you will be competing with these much larger brand names and much uh, more established listings. So you may have to rely more heavily on uh, your marketing and advertising campaigns. Okay, let's check out a supplier for this. Uh, I found a product that had some unique mini toys in it that I didn't see on some other Amazon uh, treasure toy box uh, listings that were on that first listing page. But uh, this supplier is verified. They're selling in 200 piece sets from $4.91 the whole way up to $6.50. So the lower your uh, order quantity, I'd imagine you'd be closer to that $6.50 range. Now my suggestion here is I would ask the supplier if they could separate this 200 piece set into an equal 100 piece set that we could sell on Amazon. So they would package each set for us in 100 pieces and we would sell that on Amazon on either one of these existing listings if you're wholesaling or you'd go ahead and create your own listing. Uh, but I do recommend selling 100 piece sets because that seems like that is the perfect balance as far as what customers are looking for. All right, the last thing we need to do is to figure out our profit margin to ensure that we have above a 35% profit margin. Now, typically I would use Amazon's revenue calculator to figure out what the margin would be, but I decided that we'll be using my own application called Seller Buddy, uh, which is shown here. And you can download this for free on your phone just by going to sellerbuddy.app. So I'm in the margin calculator here. I entered all of the inputs that we need that we'd sell this for $24.95, which is the median price for a hundred piece set. And now our cost of goods sold is half of what I expected it to be since we're selling in 100 piece sets. We're not selling in those 200 piece sets. So that comes out to $2 and 96 cents. We scroll down. We have our FBA fee of $6 and 10 cents. This is adjusted for Q4 and um, they just recently in October increased their FBA fees. So this does account for that referral fee, $3 and 74 cents and some of these other fees, which would produce a 48% profit margin. If we were to sell 200 of these units by the end of the year, that would give us a profit of $2,400 before advertising. Okay, product number two, and that is the niche of lava lamps. Yes, this is a classic item that you've seen since the really the 60s, the whole way up until today, and we've seen a resurgence in this type of product, especially during the holiday season. 
Now I'll scroll through the first listing page. I know that you know what a lava lamp looks like, but what catches my attention is that, you know, there's not a whole lot of differentiation and rightfully so, you know, there's only so many things you can do with a lava lamp, but what catches my eye is uh, a product like this that is selling something that's different, such as this jellyfish lava lamp design. So maybe when we go to find a product and look for a supplier, we think about that and consider how we can actually differentiate our product instead of just selling this you know, quintessential lava lamp. Moving over to the data, there are a lot of different niches in the lava lamps category, but I'm just looking in general, lava lamps, not a specific type. So that is that first niche here. Uh, one thing that I really like about this, which is very similar to what we saw in the previous product and you know what you should be looking for as far as um, estimating demand in the future is that we saw a dramatic spike in December of last year. That is really good for us as sellers because it's our best way of predicting that demand will continue to increase or be similar uh, as far as the units sold uh, in December of this year. So seeing that spike is always a good sign for a holiday seasonal product. So yes, I said seasonal, even though Jungle Scout is rating this very low seasonality, one thing we can look at is the search volume to see how customers are shopping for this product. And anytime you see a significant rise in search volume and then a steep decline, such as from November to January, 2022 to 2023, that means you know it's more than likely gonna be seasonal. You're gonna see a rush of demand during certain parts of the year, and then that demand begins to uh, decline at other parts. So that is the one thing just to really be concerned about is because we saw that same trend from 2021 to 2022 and the same trend from 2022 to 2023. So I would expect again for this to be a seasonal product for demand to begin rising this month and continue rising up until the end of December. All right, so I did find a, a product on Alibaba that is somewhat different than what we saw on the first listing page. This is a volcano uh, lava lamp. So this is still simulates the same type of idea as a normal lava lamp, but we also have our unique feature and one of our main selling points we could feature, which is that it's a volcano. So this runs for $5 and the MOQ is fairly low, but I think, um, you know, after doing some more research on this supplier and also just this product in general, it's credibility and quality. Now, uh, I think this would be a good idea to sell something that is different than what we've commonly saw on that first listing page. All right, the last step here, let's run through the numbers on seller buddies margin calculator. Uh, we have our sales price at $29.99, cost of goods sold at $7, so that assumes $2 per unit in shipping on top of the, um, the production costs. And that would provide us with a FBA fee of $6.10, referral fee of $4.50, and a total profit margin of 41%. If we were to sell 200 units of these in the first uh, month, we would estimate our profit to be $2,462. All right, on to our final product here, and this is by far my favorite. As always, I always save the favorite for last, and that is the niche of magnetic phone wallet. So let's take a look at this. This is um, you know, really a spinoff of the MagSafe accessory that we see through Apple. And as you can imagine, this is just a magnetic card holder that someone would place on the back of their phone. Now the data is even more exciting for this niche, and let me show you why right here. So if we go over to the search volume for the past two years, I shouldn't even have to say anything. You should be able to just look at that and see that upward trend over the past two years and know that this is gonna be a great product to sell. And we can almost assure that demand will continue rising at least for the foreseeable future. So that's one of my favorite things about this, um, this data set and this product in general. Now the one thing that does worry me is actually not in the data set, more so it's in the, um, the product itself. You know, this is a fairly simple design and really we're limited in how we can differentiate our products. It has a magnet in it, it holds cards. So could we increase the capacity of this card wallet or could we make the magnet stronger? There isn't a whole lot of opportunity, unfortunately, in how we can differentiate ourselves, but we'll try to get creative when we go ahead to the next segment and we try to find a product to sell. So I took some time and unfortunately, I didn't really come across some type of variation of this product that would stand out on that first listing page. Now, I did have an idea. I, I found this verified supplier who has some very good reviews and it comes in at a competitive price. But my thought process was if we were to sell something that has high quality in design like this leather magnet holder and we were to place our logo or some type of logo that the customer would be interested in uh, that we do have rights to, I think that would be a way to at least stand out and we could sell these unique colors that's 
specific to our brand. So for one of these, they go for about $1.38 down to $1.10, depending on the quantity. I'm gonna assume that we're purchasing between 1,000 and 5,000 pieces. So we'll expect $1.27 for a production rate. I'd estimate about 32 cents in shipping per unit. All right, final step here. Let's run through the numbers on the Seller Buddy app. Uh, we have a very small product, fortunately, so we should expect a low FBA fee and a low storage fee. So that is good news. For the sales price, um, I commonly saw these being sold for under $10. I rarely saw them being successful in a $10 to $15 range. So I think that's really our maximum that we can go for one single unit of this product. Cost of goods sold is $1.59, which includes the shipping. And that would provide us with an FBA fee of $3.58, which is extremely low, and then a referral fee of only 80 cents. Now in this category of products, we're not going to pay the 15% of our sales price for the referral fee. We'll actually be paying less. We're gonna be paying 8%, which is a good news when you're selling in uh, consumer electronics. So all in all, our profit margin is 40%, exceptional. And if we were to sell 200 units in the first month, we'd expect a profit of $800. Now you may be looking at the profit and say, uh, you know, that's not as exciting, but there's a good chance when you sell smaller ticket items like this that you will be able to reach more customers and you'll be able to convert more sales. So that number could very well be 400 or 500, depending on how aggressive you are with your launch. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for the 2024 best products to sell, which will be coming out the first week of January.